Okay, hi there, and welcome to the Salamander Tiny Wood Stove Kitchen. This is where I play my little stove. Okay, this is my house. And this is my little office. I'll meet you inside. So today, in the tiny wood stove kitchen, we are going to be making cachuco, which is Italian for fish stew, really. It translates as bits and bobs, which means that probably, uh, back in the day, as fishermen arrived on the harbour side, whatever they had as the catch of the day, they used up in a stew with some tomatoes and maybe a little bit of veg, uh, and that's called cachuco. Now, after a little bit of research, I found that it's the one thing that unites us all is fish stew. I found fish stew recipes from across the world, and I've put all these together in my um, blog. So if you go onto there and look for the Kachuko recipe, you'll find hundreds of links to fish stew, because it, it, like I say, unites the world. Right, so to make Kachuko, I think the fundamental thing that you should be concentrating on is the stock that you're going to add to everything else really, along with obviously some tomatoes. So yesterday we went down to Jackson's and kindly asked them if they had any bits and bobs knocking about that they didn't want uh, and we boiled them all up with some veg and made the most fantastic uh, fish stock. If you just look at that, that is awesome. You could reduce it a little more and just have it as soup. It tastes that good. But we're going to use it as our stock for our kachuco. So we've got our pan on and we're warming up and when that gets to a little bit warmer we'll chuck in some fried onion chuck in some fried onion, chuck in some chopped onion and a few other bits and bobs which I'll show you in a sec and hopefully within probably 45 minutes we'll have some kachuko to eat okay so these are the ingredients for today's kachuko so we've got some nice little uh, strips of cured ham from Riverford that we've got on Sunday and some tomatoes, a bit of veg, a nice bottle of Italian Chianti and of course the main ingredient, the lovely fish from Jackson's, the fish mongers in Newton Abbott. Okay so we've chopped all the veg up into sort of chunky bits um, with a little bit of the Riverford we'll add a bit of Chianti and the tomatoes. Okay so while all that veg is softening I'll show you the lovely fish I got from Jackson. So, it's like Christmas again, because it's all wrapped up in newspaper fun. So, first off, we've got a nice bit of monkfish. Bag of mussels, a few little mussels there. I'll leave them in the bag. And we've got a little bag of scallops. Again, I'll leave those in there for now. A few little sardines. I got those really for decoration. A nice chunk of cod. So there, just a little bit of fish, a nice bit of cod, and a nice bit of monkfish, and a couple of the shellfish, some scallops, and some mussel. Okay, so we're going to add some nice Italian tomatoes. Maybe one more. You can chop them up, but I like to sort of chop them up as I go. It sort of helps me to keep an eye on the sauce. Couple of ladlefuls of stock. Good luck. And of course, a nice healthy glug of the Chianti. We'll just leave that there to warm a little so we can have a little supper lunch time. Pop on the lid, and you want to be leaving that for a good 30, 40 minutes. Right, so I've chopped up the fish into some chunks there, saved a little bit for uh, another recipe. And we're going to just slide that into the tomato mix. Place it around, pop the lid back on. And you want to leave that now for around about sort of 10 minutes, I suppose, at a gentle to medium heat. Okay, so I've washed my little handful of mussels. I've just popped in the scallops. So we'll just pop those in, let those open, and we're ready to go. 
Okay, those muscles should be open by now. Yes, they are. So we're ready to rock. So there we've got it. Cachuccio, or Italian fish stew. Food of the people. Okay, so we're just gonna pop a little bit in the bowl here. A little bit of fish, muscle or two. And some of that nice, let's try that sauce. Oh, that's lovely. Right, so, there you go, that was Kachukio. Join us next week where we're gonna be doing crispy duck with a spicy plum sauce. And rather than using pancakes, we're gonna put that in a Mission Deli mini wrap. So, join us next week.